finding your food. This is about finding food that's right for you. Everyone thinks they have the answer. High protein diets, raw diets, low carb, macrobiotic, low fat, calorie restriction, the list goes on. It gets so confusing. We just need to stop the war on foods. We need to learn how to listen, have a dialogue with our own body, and find out where and what is making us feel good. We need to experiment and explore with what foods, when we put in our body, change things for us on a cellular level. Because that is when we are going to open up. That's when we are going to feel our vibrancy. That is when we are going to be 100% present and able to connect to our intuitiveness. So we need to stop the food wars now. Listen to your body. Do you have energy? Are you sleeping well? Does your skin glow? Are your eyes bright? Does your brain work? How do you feel? Vibrant? Do you even wonder if you're alive? You decide. Hi, Allison here. You know, we want to do so much work, spiritual work, energy work. Um, in every way, we want to improve our lives. But we forget to take care of the temple. So tell me, what are you experiencing? That little vignette that started this video was just to show that we have so much bombardment of misinformation, and yet we can make some changes. We are energy beings. We need to aliven and awaken that part of us, that part of us that is meant to flourish in optimal health. We don't need to dummy down our brains. We don't need to feed our bodies foods that are just denurtured and have absolutely no energy to give us. We need to nurture and take care of what this beautiful, beautiful, little, wonderful thing that's here to house our soul. So why don't you take a step? Why don't you take a small step today? It doesn't matter whether it's a going raw, macrobiotic, eating more vegetables, eating more fruit, giving up soy, um, giving up those soft drinks or pop. It doesn't matter what we do in our lives. Just a small step. A small step towards increasing your vibrancy. Maybe you could even consider superfoods. These are additions of intelligent foods that you put into your body and really know what you need to flourish. So those are just some thoughts to think about. And we can continue further with this and look at ways that we can do this on a budget. You know, it's not a question of, do I have the time to move my body and exercise? Do I have the, the energy to, to go out and, and get good foods? It's not an option anymore. It's a definite certainty. We must. We must be able to do that. If we want to tap into our intuitive nature, if we want to connect to our inner being, if we want to flourish in longevity that's packed with joyous, vibrant health. So on that note, I want you to consider what step are you going to make this week? Don't forget to ask me any of your questions as we playfully learn to embrace longevity now.